Hi guys, welcome back to LA Equestrian, and today I am doing a ride with me voiceover, and here are a few clips of me brushing Arrow, so let's get to brushing. All right, so I decided to lunge Arrow today because just it was a very cold day, as you can tell. He looks like a fluffy polar bear, and I am bundled up, and I am just lunging him over some ground poles to kind of working on some extension and collection and helping him stretch out and then kind of shorten his stride. So I'm just working on getting those the right length right now. As you can probably tell, I'm pretty bad with getting the distance for ground poles. He went over that really nice. He was so cute. He was all prancy. Oh, and there he was kind of like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So he stepped to the side and he was like, kind of threw his butt up a little bit. Like, no, oh, you can't tell me what to do. And so here is kind of where he starts throwing a fit and not wanting to listen so this is why it is good to lunge before a ride because you never know what happens out of them. Yeah, and there he kind of reared up and was like, no, I'm definitely not doing that. And no, I don't like ground poles. <laughs> so I decided to take him off the ground poles because I didn't want to pressure him. You never want to pressure a horse to do something they don't want to do. But looks like he didn't want to lunge at all today. So he kind of threw a fit. So as you can tell here, I'm backing him up and telling him no, that wasn't good. So after this little lunch session, I did not get on camera, but I took him to the round pen and dealt with him there. So yes. All right. So after that happened, um, yeah, we're going to start riding. So now I'm just walking him around a bit and he usually doesn't act like that under saddle. Um, at the end of this video, you'll probably be like, well, <laughs> but you'll see and as you can tell, he's a little frisky and head high. So I'm trying to just do some circles to get him a little calmed down and sitting trot to 
for me to be calm so he can feed off my body language and be calmer. But as you can tell, yes, he's very frisky today and wanting to go forward. He's getting a little bit calmer now and going over those ground poles nicely. So here I am working on extension and collection, which is to go in a figure eight and one circle, kind of get them to shorten their stride and head high and then like lower their neck and kind of reach out. He doesn't do it that well yet, but it's always good to practice and teach them all you can. So while, yes, those circles really did calm him down and let him focus a bit more. And he did those really good, so I gave him a good old pat on the neck. So now I'm going to do another exercise. I'm just doing some serpentines to get him to bend off my leg a little bit more. You kind of can see here that he's not liking that. He's kind of like, what am I asking for? And then when we come back the second way, I just kind of made a loop around. And he kind of gets, oh, you're wanting me to bend. And so, yeah. I love to see the progress with him, even though just little, tiny, tiny steps they make along. Now I'm doing one more exercise before we start cantering. So I'm just doing one more <laughs> extension and collection exercise. And you're probably like, why are you doing so many of those? I'm just trying to get him to kind of learn some more things just besi besides basic trotting on the rail and around. Getting him to think more about what he's doing and about some flat work exercises. So I'm just doing a circle, a tight circle, and then letting him open up on the long side. All right, good boy. Okay, so we are just walking a little bit before we start to canter. I always like to canter him from the walk because he does have a lot of energy. Arrow just has a lot of energy. So I feel like he's not as rushy to the canter if I, tr if I walk him from the canter. And he's getting better with the transitions. He's still kind of trotted there in between. But... He did um, pick it up nicely. So I didn't want to edit all, all the head swinging and everything because Arrow's not a perfect horse, as you can tell. He's a little rushy, and he likes to swing his head. But I never just like to loop de doop de doop him <laughs> when he's not in his happy mood and get him stressed out. So I kind of just transitions, trot canner, trot canner, more cantering till he can just figure out he can be calm. And my ek here just does not look its best because I'm, I look like a board up on a saddle. I'm so stiff because I'm trying to hold him back. So I know <laughs> it doesn't look the best. Alrighty, so we're just doing some more transitions. 
Good boy. All right, so back to some more cantering. And as you could see from the thumbnail, did he buck me off? Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, so cantering nicely, even though we're on the wrong lead. So cantering, keep going down the long side. This is going pretty well. This is probably his best canter yet. And so me and my friend are cantering the same way. And okay, <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh gosh, oh God, are you okay? All right, so I'm coming around this bend. The horse in front of me bucked my friend off. So it spooked Arrow, so I turned him and yeah, he just threw his legs up in the air, and he's actually never done that before. He will crow hop every now and then, just a tiny bit, but it's, like, rideable. And then, so, I think all that happened is, yes, it did knock the air out of me. I'm so thankful that I did not have any broken bones. So, he kind of threw his legs up in the air, and he got spooked. So, it wasn't really his fault or my fault. It was just, like, the situation. And... If, as they say, if you're not going to the hospital, get back on. So, I got back on. And I didn't do any more cantering because we did enough cantering. And so, I'm just kind of calming him down, getting on, calming him down because it was scary for him too. And so, I'm so thankful my friend. Well, we were all sore, but <laughs> we didn't go to the hospital or have any broken bones. So, that was good. So this is actually my first fall in, um, let me think here, three years of owning him. So I think that's pretty good. <laughs> You're probably like, that's horrible. But at least he's not a horse that bucks all the time. <laughs> and Arrow's not a bad horse. He's a horse and horses aren't perfect like us. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. I did not do an outro because it was very hectic and I was quite sore. So thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a very crazy one. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.